Hey there, YouTube. It's JP Dunphy, your BMW genius at BMW of Fort Washington. We are back, and we're going to start off right now with a question we've been getting recently about split screen with your iDrive 7 car. So a lot of people that had iDrive 6 liked how the split screen when they were in their navigation gave them their navigation screen and then their music on the right hand side. And if you moved up to the iDrive 7, you realize that's not really what the split screen does anymore. So with that, let's jump in. So now in the split screen, you basically just get map options, route preview, which will give you turn by turn, position and then live traffic, but not music anymore, right? So when you have this screen right here, you can no longer do map as you go and then music on this side. But the way you get around that now is you have your main iDrive 7 dashboard right here. What you can do in this guy right here is actually still have your navigation active right here and you can get your music right here and you can get your turn by turn right here. So everything on here is completely customizable, right? So if you want to have touch and hold, I could put something like root preview. So because we're not going anywhere, it's just going to give you a basic good list. Lock that in. There we go. It's going to give you just a basic compass. But if we do some kind of like map, let's go here and say, uh, I don't know, there. So what you would do is you would start up your map, get it going. Oh, that's always fun. Someone does that next to the car that I'm recording in. Regardless, unimportant. And there we go. Root preview. Da, da, da. Jump on out. So you see, just like we had in our other map, that's gonna give us our turn by turn. Now the second we start moving, this little guy on the downside here will start giving you a turn by turn direction. But as you see in the upper corner, you still get your music. Now, some people like to have different information on here altogether. Let's say, I don't know, this. Or whatever you wanna put there but people may not want it there. What they don't understand is now you can actually put it directly in front of you. Uh, so, when you're sitting here in your main uh, digital display that's in front of you, you can actually swap up using the BC button, the little board control button, swap out your trip computer for instead the music. Whoops, I just went right by it. And boom, music. So now, within the screen in front of you, you have term, your turn by turn, the next coming turn, where you're supposed to go, and then music to the right. Now, this particular one does not have a heads-up display, but you can also get your turn-by-turn -turn directions in heads-up displays. Uh, and using this button right here, depending on what your setting is, I'll show you that setting in just a second, you can actually change your music from right here using these little buttons and turn style. So say, I don't know, let's go serious and Broadway, because why not? American Idol, Broadway. So, got your music, directions, split screen. Either here or here. It doesn't give you a split screen really up at the top. It's kind of like one or the other. You can access your music from right here. Uh, and oh, by the way, since I mentioned I would do it, if you want to swap out where it's, what you see and where that uh, display will be, you'll simply go to settings, car, Switch over to displays. After you're in displays, you'll have a heads up option. And you can see in there, what's gonna basically tell you is, um, I apologize, my brain just went blank for a second. Sorry, infotainment. So it'll be another option, it'll basically be down this area. And it'll say whether you want it in heads up display or in the instrument panel. Now this obviously being the instrument panel, heads up display being up here. That's all you gotta do to get that going. And with that, that's how you can get split screen in iDrive 7. Now, you don't have to do some weird thing where you have to go back to iDrive 6 or say, oh, I miss it. No, they've given you more options, more customizable ways to make the car yours. So I say explore it, try it out, make your own page using your main, <clears throat> using your main display and see what works for you. Find out if you like it better in your instrument panel, heads up display or on the main screen. Either way, BMW has you covered. And with that, thanks for being with us today. If you like this video, do you remember to like, 
comment, share, subscribe. Tell me what other videos you want. We're always going to make more as long as you are there to ask for more. Um, coming up, I'll be having another one. Uh, some people have older cars like the, our old GT cars. I'm going to show you how to work those back seats because we've been getting a couple people asking about that recently. So that'll be coming up this week as well. With that, thanks so much for being with us. Look forward to having you in the future and keep on moving.